Welcome everyone to the Cat's Meowth and a collection showcase of my Plasma Free set. So this set has a lot of memories for me because it's the first set that I ever opened up an entire case of. And despite opening up an entire case, I still did not complete the set. I had lots and lots of extras and there were lots of awesome cards in here, a lot of playable cards, a lot of evolutions. So I, it was fairly easy to move um, a lot of the cards as far as being able to trade for things that I did need. And I think I was able to trade for the last card I needed with without too many difficulties, but still. Um, it, it was uh, one of the, the first times that I think, or not first times, but the, the sets were getting big enough that you just were not guaranteed a full set from opening up a case where it used to be it was very easy to complete a set by opening a case. So we've got a couple of ultra rares down here at the bottom, Life Dew and Rock Guard. Um, the A specs, obviously, and uh, just like Computer Search and Dowsing Machine, these actually did see some, well, not so much Rock Guard, um, but Life Do actually did see some play. And isn't this a gorgeous page? Lots and lots of full arts. That Professor Juniper was very, very playable um, because most people were playing three to four uh, Junipers per deck anyways, and there were people out there that insisted on having them all be full arts. The Shiny Empoleon is also a reprint of the, um, I think it was Dark Explorer's Empoleon. Um, I might have that wrong. You might have been from an earlier set, but it is the playable one. Um, so that's very awesome. And then we also have some, uh, oh, so, so many beautiful gold cards. I'm trying to remember which ones I did not hit in the case. Um, I want to say in the case, I only hit one or two gold cards. And so I had to trade for the rest. I might have hit hit all the full arts, although I mean I could just go back to the video and um, and and rewatch. Now, what's really cool is that I was able to pull this Ultra Ball from my. Um, it was a pack battle video that I was participating in a pack battle tournament uh, for uh, a few seasons actually, and I pulled this card, and that was. Um, Probably one of the best pulls that I've ever had from just a, a random pack. Um, at the time, this card was worth over $100. I was so excited to have one in pack fresh gem mint condition. Unfortunately, my, um, my boyfriend at the time, he went to a tournament and decided that he wanted to play with a, uh, a different version of every card in his deck. So for the Ultra Balls... He decided to play with one regular, one reverse, one gold, and I don't know what the fourth one was, probably a, re a reverse from a different set. And he went into my collection and took this gold Ultra Ball. Um, he then left his deck on a table, and actually I'll start flipping through the reverse set while I tell the rest of the story. But he left his deck on a table, walked away from it, and surprise, it was stolen. So he had actually taken a plane to go to another state for this tournament. I believe it was a regional, and it was something that uh, I stayed home um, and, and, and did not accompany him on. So I got a call that, um, hey, I stole your cards and then lost your cards. And then he tried to take, he had taken my, um, now I did give him permission to take um, my spare, my, my binders of spare cards in case he wanted to, to change out what he played. And, you know, I had extra playable cards and, and binders specifically for that reason. Um, he threw one of them and damaged a lot of cards. And, um, I said at one point that he was going to just sell them all to, uh, be able to, re to buy and replace the cards in my collection, essentially selling my cards to replace the cards that he stole from me. So that ultra ball, um, it, it's a replacement. Um, I honestly have not looked at it in years, so um, I don't remember what the how, how nice of a condition it is. I'm pretty sure it's not packed fresh, though. Um, trying to find a packed fresh Ultra Ball, I mean, it's, it's not going to happen. Um, so I still have the memories of pulling that amazing card. Unfortunately, I just don't have that card anymore. So... Uh, it, it's a little bit of a, 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 a little burst of happiness with a twinge of sadness every time I see this card. But I am going to be pulling it out and seeing um, what the condition is and if, it, if it's worth to be sent off from grading. And if it's not, I think I am just going to go ahead and sell it. 
um, rather than have any more negative memories associated with it. But let's end this collection video on this beautiful page of ultra rares. So many full arts. I uh, This is a really a, an, a, an amazing set. Um, I didn't even talk about some of the playability of some of these things. Um, Deoxys up there. Uh, there were decks that ran four Deoxys. Um, I think even, uh, the, yeah, there were a lot of things I didn't touch on here. The Garbodor uh, was, a, was, was a reprint of a very useful card, as was uh, as was Sigalith and I think technically Garchomp. Um, Max Potion was a staple for quite a while in some decks, and even this Uncommon Execute was a, uh, a deck staple for um, lots of decks. I mean, you could throw it in your discard pile and uh, and it essentially was, or it, it was like Ultra Ball fodder and stuff like that. And you could propagate it back to your hand and then throw it back out again. And so you didn't have to discard as many. So lots and lots of cool cards from this set. Um, and it's a shame that I have some bad memories that kind of tarnish this set as well. But that doesn't take away from the beauty. I hope everyone else has enjoyed seeing these awesome cards and we'll stay tuned for more.